Pro's Tip, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. We talk about this all the time, dude. One of the most important things when you're out there snapper fishing is fresh bait. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. I mean, you've said it. You can go to your local tackle shop. You can buy boxes of fresh sardines or Valley what else? Do, squid. Anything, pilchers. you know, pilchers, thread fins, anything frozen, and it's going to work. You're going to catch some fish. There's no doubt about it. But I'll tell you, if you know you're going snapper fishing, what are you going to do? What's the best thing that you can do? Anytime I hear snapper fishing, I'll go into the intercoastal or to the beach with my cast net right away and try to catch as many fresh baits as I can. Yeah. At the pier, at the inlet, of course, around the state, there's different bait fisheries that you know, you know about in your local waterways, but you've got to take advantage of them because that fresh bait's just going to make an absolutely huge difference out on the grounds. Absolutely. You know, and sure. even if you didn't catch that bait, worst case scenario, if you weren't able to catch that fresh bait in advance of the trip, catch it while you're out there in your chum slick. You're going to get squid in the chum slick. You're going to get ballyhoo in the chum slick. I always bring a nice little light rod with four pound mono tiny little and I mean really really tiny little gold hook with a little float okay put a little chunk on here feed it back behind the boat catch those ballyhoo you know cut those things up for chunks how many fish have you caught catching the bait right there out on the scene dropping it back down and what's the result usually you'll catch the biggest fish of the night that's from right. the bait you've caught right behind the boat right there so that's probably the most important lesson when you're out there snapper fishing fresh bait is absolutely key